Welcome to this insightful journey of Bursa Malaysia's sustainability explainer video series. For the first chapter, we will cover the introduction to Bursa Malaysia's sustainability reporting requirement. We will look into the pivotal role of sustainability in today's global and local business landscapes, as well as the key enhancements made to Bursa Malaysia's sustainability reporting framework. First and foremost, let's start by exploring key global sustainability efforts that have notably shaped the current landscape. The United Nations UN, has embraced the ambitious 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, encompassing the UN Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, addressing vital issues such as poverty, education, and gender equality, among many others. Additionally, the 2015 Paris Agreement strives to limit global temperature rise to below 2 degrees Celsius, preferably 1.5 degrees Celsius, to combat climate change. These initiatives create a collective global framework for sustainability, fostering unity among nations and organizations with shared goals. Businesses worldwide are increasingly prioritizing sustainability in their operations and strategies. This trend is propelled by factors such as acknowledging their impact on the environment and society, along with responding to heightened awareness and demand from consumers and investors. In Malaysia, the government and regulators' strong commitment to sustainable development has significantly motivated businesses to embrace sustainability practices. Companies be it multinational or local are redefining their business models, supply chains, and operations to contribute positively to the world. Now, let's discuss the advantages of quality disclosure. Good quality of sustainability disclosure offers numerous benefits for organizations. It does not only builds trust and accountability with stakeholders but also attracts mindful investors and reducing financial risks associated with ESG factors. Going beyond compliance, quality disclosure can internally drive operational efficiencies and reveal opportunities for innovation and growth. In the landscape of sustainability disclosure, there are various frameworks and standards that can be used as references to ensure comprehensive and standardized disclosure practices for organizations. Notable frameworks include, but are not limited to the Global Reporting Initiative's GRI Standards, Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosures TCFD, Sustainability Accounting Standards Board SASB and the recently released ISSB S1 and S2 standard by the International Financial Reporting Standards IFRS. In Malaysia, companies can use regulatory-related standards and frameworks as guidance which encompass the Malaysian Code on Corporate Governance MCCG, guidelines from Bank Negara Malaysia, the third edition of Bursa Malaysia Sustainability Reporting Guide, and the Illustrative Sustainability Report ISR. While it might be overwhelming to consider all these frameworks, companies can prioritize meeting regulatory requirements and aligning with industry peers. Ultimately, companies should bear in mind that these frameworks serve a singular purpose to collectively offer a structured approach to environmental, social, and governance ESG disclosures. Now, let's deep dive into the key enhancement made for the third edition of the Bursa Malaysia Sustainability Reporting Guide. On September 26, 2022, Bursa Malaysia issued an updated sustainability reporting requirement in the Main Market Listing Requirement MMLR and ACE Market Listing Requirements ACLR. Bursa Malaysia envisions that these enhancements will not only improve the overall quality of sustainability disclosures but also foster a higher standard of sustainable practices. Moreover, these changes aim to facilitate comparability across listed issuers, encouraging the adoption of international best practices. Ultimately, the anticipated outcomes include an increased influx of funds and investments into the Malaysian capital market, signaling a positive trajectory towards a more sustainable and globally competitive business environment. To ensure a phased and manageable transition, Timelines are set for both the main market listed issuers and ACE market listed corporations to comply with the new requirements. This approach aims to facilitate a smooth adoption process, allowing companies to gradually incorporate the guide's enhanced requirements into their sustainability disclosure practices. The key enhancements introduced by Bursa Malaysia encompass several crucial aspects which are sustainability disclosures, assurance, and climate-related disclosures. 
In terms of sustainability disclosures, a significant development involves the disclosure of 11 common sustainability matters, complete with accompanying indicators. Main market listed issuers are required to disclose the first nine common sustainability matters and indicators, starting from the financial year and December 31, 2023. The remaining two common sustainability matters and indicators are to be disclosed by financial year and December 31, 2024. Additionally, main market listed issuers are also required to disclose three years of historical data, performance targets, and a summary of ESG performance data against targets as part of their sustainability statement from financial year and December 31, 2023. On the other hand, ACE market listed corporations are expected to disclose the first nine common sustainability matters and indicators by financial year and December 31, 2025 and the remaining two common sustainability matters and indicators by financial year and December 31, 2026. In terms of the disclosure for three years' historical data, performance targets and summary of ESG performance data against targets, ACE market-listed corporations are required to disclose them by financial year and December 31, 2025. In the realm of assurance, companies are now mandated to provide a statement on whether the sustainability statement has undergone assurance. If conducted, assurance can be done either internal or external. Main market listed issuers are required to disclose their statement of assurance by financial year and December 31, 2023. Whereas for ACE market listed corporations, they can disclose their statement of assurance effective from financial year and December 31, 2025. Concerning climate related disclosures, main market listed issuers are obligated to align climate related disclosures in the sustainability statement with the Task Force on Climate Related Financial Disclosures TCFD, recommendations, commencing from the financial year and December 31, 2025. Meanwhile ACE market listed corporations are required to disclose a basic transition plan towards a low-carbon economy by financial year and December 31, 2026. These pivotal changes emphasize Bursa Malaysia's commitment in fostering transparency, accountability, and robust sustainability practices among listed issuers. In summary, it is important for listed issuers to ensure that their disclosures are balanced, comparable and meaningful as it is critical in enabling stakeholders to form an objective opinion of the company's sustainability practices and disclosures. You may refer to the third edition of Bursa Malaysia's Sustainability Reporting Guide and Toolkits, the Illustrative Sustainability Reporting Guide and other referenced sustainability frameworks for detailed guidance. In the next chapter, we will be discussing on sustainability governance and scope and basis of scope, so stay tuned.